Hey everybody, it is <clears throat> June 4th, 2017, and we actually had tons of rain last night where it pretty much covered up the um, the water drainage pipe there. You can barely see it, it's like barely covered enough with some water, but where yesterday before the rain, it was pretty much um, the whole thing was almost showing, except for a tiny bit of the, the bottom part. Um, so, which is fabulous. Um, <clears throat> but, and it's supposed to rain again tonight, which is really good. But last night was some of the best rain I've seen in a long time. Um, it rained for like four hours or so. It was just like, it wasn't a regular rain. It was a downpour rain. Um, so it was just really, really good. Um, so, and it's supposed to rain. There's like a 70% chance of rain um, every day. But it looks like it's going to be in the evenings, um, late afternoon era, that that genre um but i'm not complaining <laughs> at least we're getting um some rain and um it, it's really really good that we're getting some um but i was so enjoying the rain yesterday i was just i kept not setting right outside my door and I have a little a little teeny tiny awning roof which barely covers yeah um they were staying out there and just enjoying all the rain that we were getting um but anyways um my friend's coming over to this afternoon um and we are going to be doing um getting Cordoba um, which has amazing burritos. I love the burritos. Um, we're getting one and splitting it, and then we're doing, um, chips and guacamole dip, uh, as a side. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, they're amazing, and then, we're gonna be hanging at my house for a while. Um, she's bringing her laptop and we're gonna be playing um, Guild Wars 2 and um, Phantasmagoria, um, which is the plan. But um, I, I am not holding my breath. Uh, I have known that um, plans change all the time. Um, so, um, yeah, but that's what's going on right now. Um, oh, and I've been drinking coffee a lot more. Um, yesterday, yesterday I had, um, only two cans of Coke, which is really good considering I used to have um so much more than that i would have like about four to six cans a day um so cut to cut for me to cut it back down to two cans is really good so um that's what i've been doing it's just um drinking more coffee um i'm a little worried about on days at work um but, you know, it's, it's, I want to work on what I can, you know, just take it one day at a time and it's for the best. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to be trying to, um, especially on my days off, not you know, not have any coke so that way 
you know, on the days I do work, I'm not craving it. Um, I think that might be the best way for me to do it. Um, it's just to uh, cut it out on my days off completely. Uh, hope, hopefully. Um, it, I just hope I don't, you know, have one of those setbacks and end up going back to it. Um, which has happened to me in the past where I try to cut them out and um, after a short period of time, I end up going right back into um, drinking as much as I had before, um, which is not a good thing. Um, but <clears throat> I'm hoping that um, it does change. Um, but we'll see. Um, and see what else. Um, I'm just really ecstatic. Um, right now it's just, everything's changing for me. It's just, well not everything, but a lot of things are changing. Things are changing at work. Um, and, um, you know, with me, my life, it feels like my life, my whole life has just been changed. Um, with me doing my walks every single day, <clears throat> I started off April 2nd, um, doing these. And I've been doing it ever since. And I haven't looked back. Um. So, and there's only been one day I ha did, never did a walk because by the time I got off work and ate because I was really, really hungry. Um, and by the time I was finishing up dinner, it was pouring down rain and I didn't have time that one day um, to do my walk. That was the only day of the last 63 days um, that I wasn't able to do a walking video but I did some other workouts um, and that's what I've been trying to do it's just also um, when I'm at all my days off I try to um, do other little other things outside um, the walking just to that way I can just get up and move around a little bit and just get some exercise in um but yeah it's just I don't want to just sit there and just binge eat like I binge eat um like I have in the past and be a couch potato I want to be able to if I notice I've been sitting down for too long I'll get up and start moving around, you know, do a couple of, um, of exercises and just to keep me up and going. Um, and I'm trying to get into that habit where every so often I'll just get up and um, walk around the living room or um, do some step ups or whatever the exercise might be. Um, you know, dance to a song or whatever, just to get my body up and going and um, things like that. Um, fortunately, I cannot do too much to make my um, breathing too bad because otherwise I will, um, my asthma will kick in and I will start coughing up a lung, it feels like. Um, and I don't want that. So I try to do the exercises without overdoing my lungs and keeping them actually in the chest instead of feeling like they're about to explode. Um, so that is my plans. <coughs> so.
trust me, if you ever heard me really, really coughing, um, um, you'd be worried. I've had a lot of people who have heard me really, really start coughing really good. And they would tell me, oh, don't die on us. Don't, we don't want you to die because um, it sounds really, really bad. When it gets real, extremely bad, you don't hear anything, any air inhaling between the coughs. It's like cough, 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 and then dead silence. Uh, where normally you can, um, a lot of times when I'm coughing, you, you can actually hear me struggling for breath <laughs> at times. And then the cough will come out, but then there'll be other times where um, I'll be coughing and you don't hear any air going in at all. And it just stops. <laughs> But, yeah, and I don't want that. Um, that happened. I've been struggling with that um, since I was in middle school. My mom, my sister, and I all were sick with bronchitis at the exact same time. I felt bad for my dad because here he is. He's had three women in his house completely sick. Um... And I was the only one who came out of it with um, the asthma thing because um, I never had it before. I was running around playing, never had an issue with breathing before. Got bronchitis, and poof, there it goes. <laughs> My lungs just went put. Um, we didn't know until when I went back to school after I got better. And um, when we were in gym, I was doing my normal kid stuff, running around, you know, in gym, trying to do whatever the assignment was. I think we had to do a couple of laps um, around the gym at the time. And that's when they first noticed it. And um, ended up going to the doctor and finding out that I had asthma. So, um, but I had, like I said, I had the type that makes me cough a lot, um, but a lot of different things set it off, but, and I tried avoiding them, um, like the, like if you're, like I used to clean, um, I used to make guacamole, and when I cleaned the chopper thing, from the, that had the habanero juices on it. And I was cleaning that, I was breathing in the fumes from it, I guess you can call it. Um, and that would cause me to literally hack up a lung. Well, not literally, but feel it sound like I was hacking up a lung just by, cause I was sp spraying the habanero stuff off of it and the mist from the water and the the habaneros got into my, into my system and caused me to cough for a little bit um and then if I you know of course run stuff like that um so yeah it's it's no fun um and I was diagnosed with it in the early in the early 90s 91, 92 ish. Um, so that's when it all started, and I've had it ever since. So, you know, such is life. You go on, you know, you, you are given um, certain cards, you just um, take the cards that you are dealt with, and do the best you can with them. Um, so that's what I've been trying to do is just um, work around my um, working with the cars I have. Um, yeah, I have um, asthma and yes, I have um, bad heels um, and everything, but I still get out there and walk, do my walks. 
um, push, you know, deal with the pain. And I had been trying to um, you know, work around it. Um, and the last week or so, my heel hasn't been hurting as bad as it did before, um, which is a good thing. Um, I've been doing coconut oil and with peppermint oil in it. Um, I've been rubbing that into my heel a few times a day. Um, I've also been soaking it in um, e hot water with Epsom salt in it and then also just <laughs> leaving a hot pad, a hot heating pad on the ground and putting my heel on it. Um, so I've been doing so much as I, you know, whatever I can when I'm at home. Um, and it seems to be really helping. I mean, it's not gone completely away, but it's helped quite a bit in my heel. Trust me, a couple of weeks ago, I mean, my heel was just absolutely throbbing me. Um, but... It seems to be getting, you know, doing a little bit better, which is a good thing. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Um, and um, don't forget to make sure you you will get the um, notifications. I've had people tell me that uh, they're not getting the notifications. Of my video so make sure that when you subscribe you hit that little bell button um, and make sure it says that you're getting all the notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye